Hey there, Scorpio. How's it going? Thank you so much for joining me. We're doing a no contact love reading for you today. It's a timeless reading, which means that it's good for whenever it finds you, regardless of the date. All right, Scorpio, let's see, let's see. The purpose of this reading is to give you insight, clarity, as well as foresight to give you a big picture perspective on the situation, on the happenings right now. Let's see, let's see. In regards to this no contact, connection relationship that you have with another let's see let's see scorpio what's happening what's going on right now all right we have the strength card Ooh. okay what's happening what's going on here guys and then we have the chariot all right so I see somebody that is having an incredibly difficult time, guys, at the present moment, dealing with the situation, whatever is happening, whatever is going on. There's a lot of crying that has happened. I mean, they've been released. They've been released and they have released, I'm hearing somebody else. Now this feels kind of forced is the strength card. So somebody has been forced to release a little birdie. I'm hearing, but the birdie is still there. The bird that has been released is still there. So I'm getting that. So right now, guys, I'm just giving you a big picture perspective. I'm not saying this is you, Scorpio, this is them, or this is like, I'm just telling you what I see. <clears throat> I see a woman that has been forced to release. Now, for others of you, this could certainly be a, a, a man, masculine energy. <clears throat> But this is the way that I'm seeing it. There is a woman that has been forced the strength card to release another. And I'm hearing, and that's because the other person, I'm hearing this bird that was trapped, okay, in this cage has released, right, themselves. So it's not that I'm hearing this person really released them themselves. It's just that they had no other choice because I'm hearing the bird got out. And look, they're free. Woo, my goodness, this freedom, freedom, freedom. So I see someone that is experiencing a, a certain level of freedom that they have not had in a very long time. And this is incredibly exciting, guys, because they can finally do what they want to do. And as a result of what's happening and going on, guys, this is a result of this freedom. Somebody's life, okay, has been put in motion. Things are speeding up. I'm hearing things that were supposed to happen a long time ago that were delayed are now soon to come true, soon to happen. I see a very destructive feminine energy, guys. That seems bitter. Doesn't this person seem bitter? They're going to have to be incredibly strong, guys. I feel like they're really restraining themselves from doing what they really want to do, okay? It feels like a surrender as well. There's like, a, if there's a surrender here that has happened, but only because it's the only choice I'm hearing that is left for this person. All right, tell me more. So that's what's happening going on. We have the King of Pentacles, okay. So this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing somebody that has been rattled Somebody that's not having a good time at all. And then somebody that is having a fabulous time. But I feel like they can't completely show it because the king of pentacles is reserved. Right? The king of pentacles is not the one that you see wearing their emotions on their sleeves, right? They are grounded, calm, and, and composed, right? They are. So I'm seeing a gentleman that is 
comfortable. I'm hearing that's very important. That is very comfortable in the position it is that they find themselves in. Okay. Again, there's a lot of freedom and with the King of Pentacles, there could also be I'm hearing finances are where they're supposed to be, or at least not bad, not looking bad, which is allowing this person even more opportunities or more freedom to do and to be and to live and to create. I'm hearing the, the life it is that they want. Okay. Tell me more, tell me more about what's happening, about what's going on right now. All right, we have the Eight of Wands. I see somebody talking, somebody has a whole lot to say, guys. There might be a song that is dedicated to one of you, or there's a song I'm hearing on the radio or somewhere that is being replayed and replayed, communication, messages through music. We have the Knight of Swords. And then we have the hermit. All right, guys, so I see somebody coming out of hiding, okay? Maybe it's not hiding, seclusion. You see the hermit and they have a walker. So there's a masculine energy that has regained their balance, right? <laughs> and like just recently <laughs> because they're still holding on to this walker and with the eight of wands guys i feel like there is communication all right so this is what's happening and going on so i feel like this is somebody that is getting ready to express themselves yeah perhaps in a way that they have not expressed themselves emotionally with the, with the songs And with the Knight of Swords, there's this impulsivity to do that. Yeah, there is. There is this impulsivity, like not holding back. I'm not, yeah, not holding back feelings that make somebody just, you know, I'm hearing spill the beans or just to talk or just to take action. All right. And well, I think the reason for that is, guys, is because. I see somebody that has held themselves back for a really long time. And now I'm hearing that they find themselves free in, in this position, I mean, to direct their, their path, their life in, in, in the direction that they want. It's, it's like they, don't, they have no time to waste. So they're eager. I'm seeing somebody that is very eager to just to do things, to express themselves, to get things moving. So that's what's happening and going on. Tell me more about this. I want to tell me more about this strength card. Look at it. Tell me more. There's, there might even be, um, um, what is it like self harm? Let's see. Let's see. Tell me more. Tell me about this strength card. Tell me about this person in the strength card. Tell me about this person in the strength card. All right, here we go. We have the 10 of cups. And then we have the five of cups. So yeah, <clears throat> excuse me. So strength card. This is an individual guys that was very hopeful. Very hopeful. And with the five of cups, there's loss guys. So there is definitely This person in the strength card, guys, has is experiencing a loss at the present moment, a loss of, of a lover, of somebody that they saw a, a, a long, uh, you know, perhaps happily ever after. 
they didn't want this whatever is happening and going on i did not want this 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 is my happily ever after and with the five of cups now i don't have that okay so yeah it goes it goes but i see a gentleman masculine energy guys look all of this is masculine energy here all of this eight eight of wands right i see some things are just really picking up guys whether somebody's taking action or not like it doesn't even matter because the way things are going to be developing are just going to it, even encourage allow push certain things to happen so uh, timing could so i feel like timing is good masculine energy you see at the very front of the car like yeah you know this is great this is awesome like i'm free i'm telling you the level of freedom guys that's being experienced here and look what's the first card that came out uh you see the shirt there's a cage that's open like they're they're free somebody is free i'm free i'm free i'm free what do I do? What do I do? What do I do now? And we have the six of swords. So I see a masculine energy, guys. I, I see somebody that will be very easily moving forward, will be easily moving forward. You know, sometimes it's hard to just move forward like this. I feel like, I feel like maybe it was hard at some point, but with the six of swords guys, I, you know what this feels like? Like if there is any sort of conflict, like there could be, I feel like there could be things that go wrong, but because of the vibe, because of what's happening, what's going on, like it's it's just, it feels so good. And it's, it's I'm hearing perfect timing that you, you have better things to do than to, I'm hearing than to sulk, than to fight, than to focus on this or, or that, that, you know, whatever it's negative. Like there's no room for that is what this feels like. So I do see things just picking up and moving forward, guys. It's almost as if, it's not that the past does not matter, but it's not that the past doesn't matter. It's it's just that what does matter right now is the present and just moving forward. I'm hearing in the right direction. So that's what's happening. That's what's going on. So just to give you a summary, you know what this looks like to me? I feel like somebody um, was... I, I, let's say this is karmic energy that has was had a very tight grip and was very reluctant okay to release and let go a relationship a connection because they really wanted it right they wanted this happily ever after there but with the five of cups masculine energy there is somebody here that's incredibly unhappy and unfulfilled and depressed even with the five of cups and uh well it, it's saying that there's it's ev it's evident that this is not what it used to be it's evident that this ten of cups is not something that both people want And then we see another person that has become free of that. That has removed themselves emotionally, mentally, physically as well. And it's like everything changes on their side. It feels as if through those actions, right, this, this freedom I'm hearing that they've accepted. Their life has shifted and been, been placed 
like on the right timeline. Like I'm hearing this is the way it's supposed to be. So again, guys, I'm seeing somebody incredibly excited about just the possibilities. Gosh, it's, it's because they were really restricted before. All right, so that's what's happening and that's what's going on. Let's get some, me some messages, guys. Let's see, messages for my dear Scorpio. Messages, messages for Scorpio. <clears throat> Let's see. Messages for you, Scorpio. Here we go. I know I made the wrong choice. I know I made the wrong choice. So I'm seeing the hermit in right now. Remember that hermit we saw? Is he still here? which is representative of somebody that has had some sort of epiphany realization after going through a certain experience, right? That has, uh, well, given, given them this, this wisdom, this knowledge that they now have, which is, I know I made the wrong choice. Okay. I think about you constantly and I don't know what to do. Yeah. I do see that energy there. Like somebody is just, they, they, it's like they can get it off their chest, but I also feel like they're trying to find the right words because there's a song there. There are so many more things I want to do with you. So you see, there's this eagerness of like, oh my goodness, look at all the things I can do now. I don't, I'm not restricted. I'm not limited. I'm not suppressed. Like I just look at all the possibilities, all this room I'm hearing that, that we have or that I have now. There are so many more things I want to do with you. Yeah, you see, that's the vibe that I got there, guys. The Six of Swords, let me show you. All right, like, look, like, let's just, let's just forget about the past is what this feels like. And it's easy, right? It's easy. Now, the Six of Swords is also a momentary, like, momentary peace. Like, like perhaps let's just, fo let's forget about this. I'm hearing for, for, for the time being, you see, somebody's incredibly excited. Like, oh my goodness. Like, I can't wait to do this. I can't wait to do that. Like, I just can't wait. Knight of swords. I can't wait. Eight of wands. Like, let's go. Like, this is what I want to do. This is what I want to do. All right. Let's continue. Let's get a message from here. <clears throat> all right. All right. Scorpio. A message for you. A message for you. Here we go. No matter what happens, I will always consider you my home. No matter what happens. Right. So I feel like this is saying like no matter what has happened, no, no matter. Yeah. Like no matter what has happened, like you are still. Like you, you still hold that special place. Some things have not changed and will never change, right? And that is your place in this person's life. All right, I saw you recently, really. My stomach dropped and I wanted to say something. I was too nervous. I saw you recently. So somebody like this person saw you recently. Might have, you know, could be online. It could be like out and about. And they wanted to say something, but they were, they were too nervous. So I'm seeing that we've, we've seen that right all along. I see somebody that has a lot that they have to say to you, but it's not that they don't know how to say it, but you know how things just kind of build up. It's going to come out. I was too nervous. They were, they're, they're nervous. Okay. One last message, how, um, well, what's next? What's next? What's next? Let's give my dear Scorpio some, uh, some foresight. What is next? Ooh, that's a whole lot guys. That's a big old stack. <laughs> what is next? What can you, let's give Scorpio some, some foresight into future happenings. What is next? What is next? Maybe even something that you should know, something you should know, something you should look out for. We have, we have the eight of cups. 
and it's reverse and I'm hearing don't leave don't leave or like wait up it's what I'm hearing because this is somebody that's on a hike <laughs> they're on a hike so there's somebody behind have you guys ever been hiking that's like really normal I love going on hikes and um sometimes you know especially when it's steep some people might fall behind just a little bit wait up so that's kind of like the vibe that i'm getting like wait up wait up and then we have this nine of pentacles you know this nine of pentacles guys i'm seeing it as a person that is in the perfect position what position in the perfect position in this situation guys the nine of pentacles is also the sing single independent person which is just symbolic of a person guys i should say is ready for um could be certainly be ready for a relationship a connection guys but you know it also talks about a person that is very much focused on perhaps their career very much focused on themselves and with the eight of cups reversed i'm hearing somebody say don't go right eight of cups reversed don't go don't leave or wait up and then right now i'm here well i'm not going anywhere like this is just what i'm doing this is what's next guys i think that's you scorpio this nine of wands you find yourself in, in, a, in a good position, guys. Perhaps even you yourself enjoying your freedom, the nine of pentacles, or enjoying whatever position you find yourself in, right? We'll find yourself in because this is what's next. And um, well, the eight of cups here is here, guys, which again, I'm just hearing like, wait up, wait up, wait up, wait up, wait up, wait up. Don't go, wait for me, wait for me. Interesting, all right? Now let's get closing messages. Close from here and from here. Closing messages for my dear Scorpio. If you want to book a reading with me, guys, you can do so by going to the link down below in the description box. It's going to take you to votrevoyagetarot.com where you could book a private reading with me. Oof. That's a that said playfulness. All right, let's see. Closing message for my dear Scorpio. Let's get. Let's get this one, guys. It says passion, a magnetic, a magnetic, magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. Sacred union. Honor and treasure your relationship for it is truly sacred. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. And then we have forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events for life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream, and imagine. All right. You heard that? One last message for my dear Scorpio. Let's read those again, guys. So passion. There's a lot of passion, feelings that are so strong. And there's a seductive quality. When is in there <laughs> seductive quality about you, Scorpio, that surrounds you at present, that just makes you irresistible. Deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do, do what feels right. So do what feels right, guys. Sacred union, honor and treasure your relationship for is truly sacred. I feel like this is saying, guys, there's something about what we have here that you really truly can deny right it what i've gotten so far it feels like somebody is like ready not just i feel like they were ready a long time ago but there's just a bunch of you know there's things that happen other things that get involved and they seem to be, see somebody that seems to be in the position to like you know just really make your dream, both of your dreams come, come true in, in, in regards to this relationship, guys, like get it moving. And that's where we have this card, the forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events. 
for life is too precious two ways. That's what this feels like, right? It's, it's like life is too, it, it's too precious what we have. It's like, let's not, I'm hearing somebody say, let's not waste. You know what this feels like, guys? Like you're mad at somebody or a lot has happened and, and you, and perhaps all along you've been thinking, okay, next, you know, if there is like, there's some, there's something pending, right? Like there's a lot that we have to talk about eventually, but then it's like skipping all of that. Just saying the hell with all that and let's not waste any time and let's just, let's just forget about that and be happy is what this feels like. All right, last message, last message for Scorpio. Did I give you guys my closing message? I believe I did, but here it is again. If you want to book a reading with me, guys, you can do so by going to the link down below in the description box. It's going to take you to votrevoyagetarot.com where you could book a private reading with me. All right, here we go. You have all of me, but I can't let you know that. I need to keep my independence. Doesn't this go? And I don't want you to think you have power or control over me. Is this you, Scorpio? That, that what's next? Like this don't go? Like somebody, like, I, like you can't, like you're... Nine of Pentacles, right? Nine of Pentacles. This person enjoys their independence, the Nine of Pentacles. But you see, we have two people that are enjoying their independence in different ways. Like one is enjoying their independence because it feels like they just, they're they finally able to make choices and decisions that they weren't able to do before, which is in regards to this relationship, be with you perhaps in the relationship, be with their person, right? And then there's another one that is, you know, enjoying their freedom in, in another way. You have all of me, but I can't let you know that. I need to keep my independence and I don't want you to think you have power or control over me. I have a lot to learn about surrendering to love. I am not there yet. I know I am sending you mixed signals. I know I hurt you that way. Okay. You see, this is, I, I, I can understand that, right? Because like I said, it feels like somebody is finally able I'm hearing to come through and, but a lot has happened, right? Since in between and maybe you feel like, you know, you got this far and, and now it comes and you feel like somebody here, I think it's you Scorpio, feels like maybe Like maybe you should you should focus more on yourself. I'm here because at some point in time you you didn't do that and now you have the opportunity to do that. So you I feel like there is conflict there's conflicting emotions there. But but I do feel like it's it, one thing's for sure that it's undeniable guys the connection, the relationship, the love between uh the both of you. So I, I, I do see you, Scorpio, somebody that uh, is a little hesitant at first. But you know what, guys? I feel like that's going backwards. It's just what I'm getting. Okay, and I'm going to leave you with that. Because I keep hearing you're going backwards. You're That's like going backwards, right? You've taken this hike. You haven't gotten to the summit yet. And then you just kind of, you stop and then you start walking back. And it's like... Is that really what you want to do? All right, this is what I have for you, Scorpio. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. As always, truly, it was an honor and my pleasure. You guys take care, okay? Bye-bye.